Trump spoke about the hospital bill that cost $2 million from Korea. United States President Donald Trump insisted that he rejected the request of North Korea, demanding Washington to pay the health care fee for students' auto warm beer up to $2 million U.S. dollars. In the state of sharing on Twitter on April 26, President Trump confirmed that the United States government did not pay any money to North Korea in the case of auto warm beer. There are no payments to North Korea related to auto warm beer, no $2 million. This is not the Obama administration, paying $1.8 billion to rescue four hostages, General Trump wrote. President Trump hinted that President Obama had transferred nearly $1.8 billion to Iran in 2016, trading nominally to compensate for the damage caused by the Washington embargo on Tehran, but was criticized as let Iran release four United States citizens. Beer is an American student imprisoned by North Korea in 2015 when traveling to this Northeast Asian country. Warm beer was returned to the United States by North Korea after 17 months of imprisonment, in a coma, and died on June 19, 2017. According to the Washington Post, Joseph Inn, the chief envoy whom the United States sent to Korea to handle the case, signed an agreement to pay a hospital $52 million to Pyongyang to release warm beer, with direct guidance from President Trump to the United States Treasury, and it has not been paid during 2017, the two sources said. However, it is still unclear whether the Trump administration finally paid the bill, or that was dealt with in the process of preparing for Mr. Trump's two summits with the Korean leader. Till now, the cause of Warmbier's death has not been answered. Mr. Fred Warmbier accused Korea of beating and torturing his son while in custody. However, Doctors at Cincinnati University Hospital, where care for auto warm beer in the last days, confirmed there was no sign of it. North Korea claimed that warm beer became ill after eating pork and spinach, and also said ill students had serious allergies to the sedative they gave to the victims. Trump denies paying North Korea for warm beer treatment. President Trump has denied paying North Korea money for the medical care of comatose United States student Otto Warm Beer. Warm Beer was jailed in North Korea in 2015 during an organized tour and died after being returned to the United States in a coma after 17 months in detention. Earlier reports said that the United States had been billed $2 million, 1.5 million pounds, for the student's medical care. North Korea had allegedly demanded the bill be paid before he was allowed to return home. Mr. Trump denied the claim on Twitter on Friday. He wrote, No money was paid to North Korea for auto warm beer, not $2 million, not anything else. On Thursday, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders refused to comment on the claim. In a statement to CBS, she said, We do not comment on hostage negotiations, which is why they have been so successful during this administration. United States representative sent to retrieve warm beer signed a pledge to pay the medical bill on the orders of President Trump, the Washington Post newspaper said, citing two people familiar with the situation. The bill for warm beer's care was then reportedly sent to the United States Department of Treasury. 
former Department of State official told CBS News that the United States never paid or intended to pay the $2 million, though Joseph Inn, the department's North Korea lead at the time, did accept the bill. The former official noted that the acceptance of the bill happened under Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who was keen on opening up a dialogue with North Korea. The unnamed source said Mr. Tillerson's awareness of warm beer's critical condition, or his lack of political experience may have contributed to the decision. The Washington Post was the first to report the bill. Warm Beer was accused of stealing a sign from the hotel where he and fellow students had been staying in the capital, and was sentenced to 15 years hard labor. By the time he returned to the United States after 17 months in detention, the Ohio native was comatose and suffered from brain damage. North Korea says he fell into a coma after contracting botulism and taking a sleeping pill. United States doctors found no evidence of botulism and said that the student had suffered a severe neurological injury, probably caused by a cardiopulmonary arrest. Though North Korea has denied mistreating the 22-year, hyphen old student, his parents insist that his death in July 2017 was the consequence of torture.